Okay, this is a guide that shows how to use the tool that I modified. It's the Marlin Linear Advanced Generator, and I modified it to tune the pressure advance for a RepRep firmware or clipper. It makes it uh, a lot easier, it barely uses any filament, and takes about 10 minutes. Basically, you want to fill in your nozzle temperature, your bed temperature. Retraction distance is not a big deal for this test. Don't touch acceleration. Um, you, you definitely don't, you want low acceleration so that you make it show any errors a lot worse. Basically the faster acceleration is the less you rely on pressure advance. You know, it's just when it's slowing down that's what creates those bulges in the corners. If you're Bowden, leave the values alone. If you're direct drive with a very short tube or like a direct mount like a, a BMG Mosquito or even uh, an orbiter or a Sherpa with a very, very short or direct mount, you want to have maybe 0.1 or 0.2 on the high end, unless it's a TPU or a soft flexible, and then you might go 0.2 or 0.3, and you're going to step at 0 0.005. Make sure you turn on anchors. It makes it a lot easier. Also, it makes it easier to get the values at the end, and you'll see why, because you could actually peel off the lattice structure that it prints, um, you need to make sure that you definitely have your uh, bed very level and your first layer good, otherwise you're not going to be able to read the values. You'll still be able to count the lines, but chances are it'll peel it right off if you don't have it tuned properly. So it only uses like a few grams of filament, which is one of the best parts about it. You never, it's, the problem with pressure advance and uh, what I don't like about like the clipper tuning tower for pressure advance anyway, is it's very subjective. This makes it pretty easy. You could probably even measure with calipers, but you basically try to find the line that has the least bulging um, and also has equal thickness before and after the speed changes. The speed changes are marked at the top by those two short lines and you can see how there's you know pretty bad bulges once the values get higher because this is a very stiff filament it doesn't need a lot of pressure advance at all so I ended up going with 0 0.025 I was almost going to go even lower I mean even high, a little bit higher but uh, as I looked at it a little bit more and got better lighting because that was 0 0.04 right there and then I realized the values were actually more equal in the center versus the end in the beginning even though the bulge was still there at 0 0.025 and my prints have been perfect this you know a very stiff filament like this with a short setup could almost even work without pressure advance but when I print with regular ABS or regular polycarbonate or even a milled carbon fiber polycarbonate versus uh, a 25 percent high modulus carbon fiber filament uh, it definitely has a much more profound effect when you use the pressure advance and usually you can get lines that are indiscernible at the speed changes which is you know pretty pretty amazing I think there's one more close up at the end I pulled this from the live stream I did when I unbox the Ascenium filament. Once again, this isn't like an average filament. This stuff's $150 for a 750 gram roll, but they actually call it black aluminum. <laughs> 